amount of laundry I have to do. Kill nightmare. Not a fan. I also just worked out and I am super sore, not from today's workout, but from yesterday's workout and then pushing myself to do today's workout. But yeah, I need to deal with this today. I had a cold last week a very mild cold but a cold nonetheless so i was supposed to do laundry last week and now it's at that situation where it's really not cute anymore but i feel like right now is the least creepy time to share my favorite underwear because i just bought some new underwear that i took the tags off of so i haven't worn these majority of my underwear is from airy and i'm always on the hunt for the 10 for 42 canadian deal which is usually the best deal they might have a better one during christmas but that tends to be the best one so it finally came up and not only did i get it for 10 for 42 but i also got an additional 15 percent off so all of these came out to just over three dollars a pair which I think is fairly fair. I want to take this opportunity to talk about my favorite underwear style at Aerie which is this right here. This is the high cut cotton thong and it is the most comfortable thong ever. I wear it all the time. I actually now wear thongs more than I wear regular underwear. I used to be like a cheeky gal all the way and I still like a good cheeky moment but these are just so easy. I don't know. There's something about this that is so great. I love how it sits on the hip. It looks great too. I think the high cut uh, style is just really flattering on me because I am someone who has more hippage but I love the all cottonness of it I don't know something about this is really easy to wear it has been a game changer in my underwear collection they also have this version that's like the same style but a different material it's a little bit flimsier of a material I really do like the cotton ones because I just think there's more breathing opportunity I'll show you every pair that I got keep some things mysterious but the style too is also really pretty from them the wider band is really comfy but yeah if you're looking for a thong to try out i highly recommend trying this one uh, i'll have it linked down in the description box below i'm going to use this opportunity of bringing 10 new underwear in to replace 10 underwear in my collection because i feel like i definitely have close to 10 that i can finally part ways with i still have my workout leggings and bra on underneath this sweater so i think i'm going to change and go deal with the laundry don't make me go don't make me go do it guys i want to go i was trying to come up with any possible excuse i could to not do this laundry today but um i think i really think it needs to happen so i gotta stop being a baby and go go do it laundry's officially been started i'm gonna make some breakfast and i'm pumped because i'm gonna try using this new bread which looks typical but it's roasted garlic and sea salt bread i can smell the garlic goodness through the bag it's delicious i hope it tastes just as good i tend to pair my bread with eggs so i feel like this is a really this should in theory be a perfect pairing obviously this isn't something that you'd want to use for a peanut butter and jelly sandwich but because yeah i tend to go the savory route i think this will be good i even got an avocado over there so once that's ready i think this would be really nice on it hopefully it's something that will meet my expectations because they are high i don't know if you can even tell but there's like i think actual garlic pieces in that bread wow as i wait for my pan to heat up i want to just acknowledge the fact that today is a sad day because i am saying goodbye to my purple classic brita I've had this Brita essentially since I've been in this apartment. And actually, this was one of my first brand deals that I've ever done. Brita was one of my first brand partners. It was for an Instagram post about this picture. And we use Sharpie oil markers to, or we, I use Sharpie oil markers to draw these daisies. It has my own personal doodles on it. So it makes it extra special. And it's been around with me for so long. I know it's weird to be sentimental about having to say goodbye to a picture. A picture, by the way, that is now starting to leak. It's actually creating a lot of water in my in my fridge so i had to replace it but i've used this picture every day since i got it anyone who's come to my apartment has used this picture this picture has a lot of memories sad day for the daisy picture it was such a cute cute vibe but honestly a great idea to use the sharpie oil markers because it's been years and those have not budged do any of you find yourself getting oddly <laughs> sentimental about things you shouldn't get sentimental about i hope so uh but i'll show you my new picture uh... She's a beaut. This is also a Brita one, but it's one that has a spout, so I can just take my water bottle to the fridge and pour it out without actually taking this thing out. I drink a lot of water, so this, this seems like a lot for solo living. Uh, I think it's gonna be great, because I'll have to fill it up less often. I feel like my other Brita, I would be refilling twice a day, just to make sure I always had nice cold water at hand. But look at that. 
to other YouTubers who follow talk about stupid things like their water pitcher. I'm not sure if that was absolutely the most boring thing you've ever had to listen to or kind of endearing. I was getting ready today and I totally forgot about this shirt I had in my closet. It feels very ventriloquist. I haven't worn it all winter, so it's kind of fun. It makes me feel like I'm in a show or something. Let's also keep in mind the fact that I did curl my hair today, but the snow, the blizzard that's happening outside just straightened it for me. So that was a really good use of my time. Last night, I went to see Gracie Abrams at History in Toronto. I've never been to the History venue, but I have been a huge fan of Gracie for a couple of years now. And I was supposed to see her in, I think the fall in October, but the, the show got canceled and then she started this new tour. So it was really nice that I finally got the chance to see her. She's really great live. I think there's just something so special about live music. And even though like I'm a big fan of her, you're in a room with people that are obsessed with her. And I love being around that energy of people that are just so excited to be in the room with their favorite artists like I'm excited but there's like another tier of it that it's just addicting to be around um, it's so much fun yeah I, I don't know if you haven't been to a live show recently find one of your favorite artists and try to go because it's it's a very in the moment experience I keep having to tell myself in my head like absorb the energy of right now which sounds really cringy but it, it's true i just feel in those moments that like you kind of have to just soak it in because it's such a special unique experience so it was super fun and then today i had lunch with a friend of mine and once i left lunch i also stopped at home sense because i wanted to check out just like kind of generally what they had for spring i don't know the home sense is one of those places that's fun to just window shop i actually didn't do window shopping i bought some things i bought two of these really neat sized oxo containers i thought this would be the perfect size for the hemp hearts and the flax seeds i need to store in the fridge they, they need to be refrigerated and i often have them in the door of my fridge and i feel like this is a perfect size for putting them in the door or in the fridge like they're not too big but they're they're substantial enough to hold like a significant amount of an ingredient so i really liked them as you know in last week's video i just have a lot of OXO containers in my pantry. You can usually get a good deal with them at HomeSense, but I also feel like it's one of those items that's good to slowly build up your collection. You can't buy like full on sets, but if you're slowly adding to it, you're really getting things for what you need, not having like a ton of random containers that you don't know what to do with. What I'm really excited about is the OXO salad spinner I got. So I think this is one of the best salad spinners that you can get. As stated by my mom, my mom is a big fan of the OXO salad spinner. It's her favorite thing so I wanted to get one for myself because I feel like as we start to transition into spring one of the things that I want to start incorporating more into my meals are salads and there's this one salad that my mom makes with apples that is so good apples and strawberries in a salad it's so good oh my goodness every time I go home and she makes it it's like the best thing for my taste buds I really want to recreate that salad and I want to just try and play with salads a bit not make like a boring salad try and have fun with them because I think it's a really great thing to add as a side to dishes that also allows you to get your greens and extra veg so it's great you put your greens in there and then this is the most fun part it eliminates all the water from the green so even with my green spinach I feel like if I got into the habit of washing it and drying it and then storing it maybe it would last longer <sighs> it might not be an exciting purchase to you but I think it's gonna encourage some salad making in my life so fingers crossed for me and the other organizational goodie I got is a new utensil organizer I got this one specifically because it's meant to save space in your drawer the current one that I have takes up the whole drawer for all my cutlery but the drawer that has all my spatulas and measuring spoons and cups and all that stuff is starting to get a little cramped there are a few things I can eliminate from that drawer but not that many it's just I'm getting things that I've needed over the years and now it's starting to like you know be a whole collection so I feel like if I could save some space in the utensil drawer I can transition some of those things away from the top drawer and make it a little bit more neat um, I'm hoping that's what this will do I was always curious like how you knew what utensil was in what because obviously the part that is the identifi identifier of the utensil is tucked away but there's actually symbols on the side here like a knife spoon fork that tells you what it is so i'm sure i'll quickly learn maybe i got like inspired a little bit low-key by my own organizing video last week because what is this i haven't i haven't bought something like this bought something like this bought something like these in um in quite a while so i've been influenced by myself Turns out the cold 
that I thought was gone is actually made a return. So apologies for the sound of my voice right now, but I need to brighten my mood. So I'm going to try out one of the four CC creams that It Cosmetics sent to me. I've never tried their CC creams, but I feel like I've heard a lot of hype about them. I'm going to go for the oil-free matte one because I have oily skin and I feel like this will be the right fit but they also sent me their classic their cc plus illumination and a cc plus nude glow version all of them though have spf in them which i think is great because it just takes out another step in the skincare my typical makeup routine involves putting concealer under my eyes and then some sort of translucent powder all over my face i don't know if you're supposed to use your hands for this but i'm going to use a beauty blender That's one half done. I can already tell it's taken away some of the glow, which I appreciate. It doesn't feel like I need to set it right now, but I'm gonna set it I, anyways with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. This is the one without talc. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I think like the translucent powder interacted a little weirdly with the CC cream, but uh, maybe over time it'll kind of melt together a little bit better. Kind of random, but the other day on my For You page, this clip from the Huberman podcast came up, and I've been really liking the I think it's Huberman, not Huberman, Huberman podcast. I watched one a month ago about female hormones that was so informative. I'll have a link to it down in the description box below. I've watched a few others of his too, they're really good if you're interested in health an interesting podcast to check out but this clip was all about how to breathe effectively to instantly lower your stress level it's often a piece of advice that when we're stressed or overwhelmed to like take a second to take a few deep breaths but i guess they did this study analyzing which type of breathing techniques actually are most effective when you're trying to lower your stress levels quickly and he found that taking two breaths in and then out actually is the most effective so you start breathing in again and now so the idea is you breathe in fully at your capacity and then you give another tight inhale before you let it all out so that you fully expand your lungs and when i tried doing that technique i actually found it felt really good so i think this week i'm going to experiment with that breathing technique to see if that is more effective because usually when i take deep breaths to kind of recenter myself i always just do deep breaths in and out in through my nose out through my mouth and i find that effective but that double inhale really makes sure those lungs are full i love the fact that there's like people doing studies on things like that these days i always feel like the more i learn about science and health the more regretful i get over the fact that i didn't pursue that area of study because i do find it deeply fascinating unfortunately i just had a bad high school experience with science that scared me away which always gets me thinking like wow if i would have had like a great experience with science would i have considered that route as a career like when my whole trajectory had changed i feel like those are things that are hard to pinpoint Obviously, you can play that game forever and ever. If this would have happened when I had done this, if this didn't happen, would this have happened? Like, you could just go down that rabbit hole. I'm feeling so tired today, guys, but I think I'm gonna curl my hair, uh, make myself breakfast, get ready. Not push myself, but like just try and feel or look normal so that I feel more normal. Because, wow, do I sure not feel right. Well, so far, I'm really liking this we'll see how it wears throughout the day it feels like a bit more coverage than i'm used to because like i said i used to only just do concealer and translucent powder and this is obviously a lot more coverage but uh yeah do i look healthy <coughs> whoa it is now five o'clock. The sun is really beaming into this apartment. I have to say, I feel like the makeup looks pretty good. I haven't had to touch it up at all today and I don't feel like I'm overly shiny, which is nice. Obviously there's a little bit of glossiness on my T-zone. Hard to avoid that, but pretty good. I did decide to order in dinner tonight though. I just feel like I need a night away from having to have the responsibility of cooking. I think I even mentioned this in my living alone video that this is probably like the worst, one of the worst parts about living alone is when you're not feeling good you still have to adult and you still have to take care of yourself me and this couch have a date i can't wait i'm gonna squish that little sphere pillow and situate myself on this <laughs>
sao 